You have your Bibles, you so, have your Bibles. We are going to talk about the word of God. And I know that God is going to perform miracles in this day. We are going to talk about the word that is in line with the theme of this youth. Even though I wasn't part of it, but you gave me the opportunity to think about it. So I thank God for the theme of the come. Rising, preparing the youth or even the church that looks like Jesus, that is, the line of Jesus, that is determined or committed to look like Jesus. So there is a theme people give you, and you know it makes it difficult for you to find words to explain it. Properly. Not because it's difficult, but you ask yourself, what am I going to start from speaking there about the There are many ways you can start with a passage in the Bible. You can even look at the Bible from Genesis to Revelation. But today, I want to teach this theme adding from what they learned. And for you who are not there, because likeness with Jesus is not just for the young ones. Because the scripture written in Matthew chapter 4 from verse 18 to verse 20. Matthew chapter 4 verse 18 to 20. Yesu agenda ahakikiye ikiyaga kigariraya abona abarobyi babiri bavindimwe umwe yitwaga Petero na Andereya barobesha umutego wa mafi mu kiyaga arababwira ati ni mumurikire nzabagira abarobyi babantu muzi cyo bakoze bahita basigaho imitego yahabo we read from verse 18 to 20 it says and Jesus walking by the sea of Galilee saw two brothers Simon called Peter and Andrew his brother casting a net into the sea for they were fishermen then he said to them follow me and I will make you fishers of men and Ma they did they immediately followed left their nets and followed him we thank you for he, your word, O oh God, that you had written in the Bible. Thank you because this word is powerful to transform our lives. Holy Spirit, we invite you. Please come and lead us. And lead us and teach us. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Dear friends, likeness with Jesus. It's not a decision you can take and say from today on I'm looking like Jesus. I remember when I got saved. I got saved at Rwangura's in the last floor, but it was before. That was in 1998 on the 4th of January. That's when I took a decision to follow Jesus. Now, the years that followed, I used to go and see pastors. I'll ask them every day I want to look like Jesus but every time I try it I realize that I'm not getting there and one pastor came to me and he gave me this advice he told me the day you think that you have reached the likeness of Jesus know that you're close to falling because because what happens in your life is, those things that you determine to achieve, once you want to achieve that, you're almost there, there, Jesus will move a little bit far, and will say, make another step. And that pastor told me, said, so the day you sit, and think that I have reached, I look like him, and I'm doing exactly what he does, 
bake biba Harvard biba ku university wigaho bakagwa diplome ngura graduate nze uyu munsi wonye masters that happens to ULK to Unilag to Harvard those university you go there and they say you have finished the masters program and you're graduating mu bintu byo gusana Yesu rero but for the stories of looking like you will Jesus, never get a certificate na guzije rubona certificate cyangwa you will never be qualified na go uzigera ubigera ho byuzuye no bona no muna kubira ngo yewe namaze gusana we ubu ngu if someone tells you that today i look like Jesus no wabigerageje yitwa satan you know the one who tried this is called the devil do you know what did happen to him yashugunwa va mu ijuru he was cast out of heaven ubu ni demon tramuti and today he's a demon and we are afraid of him so nero kugira ngo utaba nka demon now for you not to be like him gusana yesu the likeness with it's Jesus. a process ni pro no rugendo rugendo it's a process si bintu wasoma mu cyanditswe kimwe it's not something you can read in one scripture ngubwo ngo iki cyanditswe ngiye kugikira yabiza kumera gutyo ntanubwo tuba dusenga ku cyumweru no if it was like that wouldn't if i'm be gathering on sunday to pray niyo mpamvu and that's the reason why umusi, today ndi mugaruke ku jambo ryitwa followership ndaza kuvuga kuri iryo jambo i'll come back to that word followership mu cyongereza abantu muri aha mukuna kwesha majambo yitwa za leadership za fellowship you know in english we like to use those discipleship words, discipleship ariko ko ngena niki ibintu usobanuka ibintu byo muri bibilia but the more i learn things in the bible naje gusanga sanga rindi jambo rishasha dukuriye kongera muri dictionnaire z'ibintu tuvuga i found that there is another word we need to add to our vocabulary yitwa followership it's called followership ni gikorwa it's an activity cyo gukomeza gukurikira of continuing to follow na nibori very strong in leadership now if you're very strong in leadership nibo ari umuntu w'umuhanga mu bintu by'ubuyobozi if so, you are someone very wise you need to gusoma ibintu bijanye wenda na fellowship or if you like to explain things about your know, fellowship and relationship wongera uti umunsi rero you need to add something else and say niba shaka gusana yesu if i want to look like jesus ngomba kumaramaza i have to be determined to commit in this thing that jesus told peter mumbe rero amasomo makeya ndi buvuge listen to a few lessons i'm going to draw no bache kuri mateke chaka mu rongo wa 10 numero za ku rongo wa 20 basing on matthew 4 verse 18 The Bible said that Jesus found two brothers who were fishermen. I know you know that story about you. you know all of us preachers we like to preach at that, that that miracle when Jesus had But I'd like to come back to the word that Jesus said when he said to Simon Peter and The Bible said that he found Simon called Peter and Andrew his brother who were fishing No no ibyo bitangaza wenda sibitinda ho bari baraye baroba babuza amafi akora bwa ati muhindura uburyo bwo kuroba bazamuye amafi abafaras You know I want to talk much about the miracle they had spent the whole night without catching anything and he told them how to do they catch a lot of fish Ariko muve gitangaza But listen to the miracle Ni jambo yesu yababwi This is the word Jesus told them Yarabwi ati rero He told them now Ni mumurici Follow me Ni mumurici Follow me Nicyo jambo ndi buva ndi kumye gusobanura That's what I want to explain today Turi ku buzima bwa Petero We learn about the life of Peter Mu bitabo butumwa bwiza uko ari bune A through the four gospels Murebe impact y'ijambo ryitwa follow me And you see the impact of that word called follow me Murebe ico ico byavugaga yasabwira Petero ngo ni mumurici You see what it meant when Jesus told Peter follow me Yababwiye ibintu bibiri bikomeye He told them two important things Yabwiye ati cyambere ni mumurici He says first follow me Follow me Follow me ni mumurici follow me ni mumurici follow me icyakabi second thing yewe i nzabagira abaro byibabantu i'll make you fishers of men mwumve gitangaza rero now listen to the miracle niyababwira igihe bizamara he didn't tell them what time it was going to be zafata meza biri he didn't tell them if it was going to be niyababwira uburyo azabikora he didn't tell them how he's going to do that niyababwira aho bazaca and he didn't tell them the journey they'll go through niyababwira ibyo bazacamo they didn't tell them what they will go through niyababwira ikindi cyari cyo cyo add any other thing I don't remember when the I appreciate you I don't I don't remember exactly why. I told you why people like to go to doctors. People like to know what will happen tomorrow People like to say indeed what you're telling me is right But they like to know what's going to happen tomorrow How long it's going to take How many days it's going to take? But let me tell you things about looking like Jesus. Beloved friends, 
Christians. Gusa na Yesu, like next with Jesus. It's a lifelong journey. From the day you encounter Jesus to the day I don't know when. If there are people who tell you when you die, all of you go to that church. If there was a pastor who would predict the days people will die, people will follow him. If there was someone who would tell them what is happening tomorrow, that's why I love things about <inaudible> salvation. You know, you know things that <inaudible> like, There is one thing Jesus didn't hid from us. <inaudible> is that there is a crown for those who believe <inaudible> in him. Things about heaven, they are clear. <inaudible> yes, we don't know how it will look <inaudible> like. Because the Bible says that things the eye has not <inaudible> seen. Because the Bible says that things the eye has not seen. You know someone, a colleague went to California and saw the roads in California and said, if the roads look like, I will live there. And we, I told him, you know, we are not seeing that because that you have already seen. You know, everything you have seen, you are not going to see that in heaven. But one thing I know is that going to heaven, that's true. Heaven is real. It's no tells. But the things about following Jesus, the time is going to take, how God is going to do that, how Jesus was going to transform Peter's into fishes of men. Jesus, he didn't do that. He told them, you, I found you doing your business. I found you busy doing what you're doing. One thing I'm asking from you, just follow me. Young people who are here, if they're still here, I'm sure they're here. I'm telling the truth, did things. Jesus said, if you want to count, uh, build the house, first count the cost. You know I am an evangelist. I like to preach to people, come and receive Jesus. And I've seen a lot of people coming to Jesus. But after understanding these things about following Jesus, I wish I can ask them the second question. Do you know that these things are going to take long? Because I have realized that people like fast food. Fast food. They like fast food. You, 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 you know things that come fast and end. Beloved. You know I'm still young. It's been 22 years that I'm in this place. Ask Pastor Lily how long she's been into that. More than 30 years. 31 years. Young people who are here. This project. It lasts more than 31 years. This is not something that is going to last for two years. You know, sometimes I feel like calling people to get saved. You know, after preaching, people come to the, the, to the alcohol and I feel happy. But sometimes I feel like these people don't know what they are getting themselves into. It's going to take them 40 years or more. Yes, you have Peter. Jesus told Peter, He told him, Follow me. He didn't tell him how long it's going to last. So, looking like Jesus, it's a long process. It's a long process. Let me tell you like five, five things that I think I know. There are five points I want to talk about. I won't talk about it. I won't exhaust it. Before I get to that, I want to tell you that you are going to have to be very careful in your thinking. But I want you to keep that illustration in mind. The first thing, this journey of following Jesus, it starts with a personal encounter with Jesus. Jesus. Everything in this journey must have a beginning. Even when you see people who don't know Jesus, and you see people who are going to be in the church, and you see people who are going to be in the church, and you see people who are going to be in the church, and you see people who are going to be in the church, and you see people who are going to be in the church, and you see people who are going to be in the church, and you see people who are going to be in the church, and you see people who are going to be in the church
ufite a clear inzira bicamo This thing of following Jesus it has a clear path a clear entrance Ni nama bunyekereza yuko And that's the reason why I think Petero that Peter icatumye arangiza neza What caused him to end properly Nekeza ko ari nokuntu yanatangije Is the way he started actually Kubera ko yesa amaze gukora igitangaza Because after Jesus see the miracle Petero nabwe abonye igitangaza Peter didn't see the miracle itself He said get you away from me because I'm a sinner Ngumbe igitangaza cyo gutangira neza Listen to the miracle of starting to well. Peter will have said, oh, lucky me. Now I am found an so, investor. If this Jesus stays by my now, side, you know, I won't have any shortage of and fish anymore. I don't know if you think about it. Instead of Peter seeing the fishes, he saw that he's a sinner. You know that song? That he told that I'm a sinner. In other words, let me tell you. I came to this church. I entered this church. And I looked at how it looks. Good. Do you know that some people can just come because the church looks good? And not only the pastor is beautiful, but the church itself. You have a good pastor. You have a nice church. It's a nice family. And there are people I know today who are in church who have not realized that they were sinners. It's not bad. Because God can even use that. But the first thing that is very important is for you to encounter with Jesus on a personal level. So among the things I will talk about Peter, don't forget this thing I have just said. The second point Knowing that you're a sinner, what comes next is trust or having faith in somebody. I won't talk about all the faith you can have in different things. The faith I'm talking about is the faith that brings salvation. It's not the faith that raises the death. It's not what I'm talking about now. The faith that brings salvation. That's what I'm talking about. Now, this faith is knowing that there is no other name that has been given to us here on earth in which we can be saved except the name of Jesus. If there is someone who gives birth without uh, using different things so is God. Uh, John chapter 12 uh, 112 Jesus said to whoever who received him and who believed in his name they are born they are becoming children of God that is the second thing the third point after having faith is obedience dear Christians beloved it is what I told you before and I will show you how the life of Peter has gone on a transformation obedience now obedience is what takes us to another level. That is called the likeness of Jesus. Not just faith. When there is no faith and obedience, forget about the things called likeness with Jesus. Because obedience is what brings to look like Christ. Now the likeness with Jesus it causes us to have glory, the glorification. Now the glorification I'm talking about here It goes beyond saying, Oh I used to drink alcohol Now I drink juice You know Christians You cause the salvation to look like It doesn't have value The glorification I'm talking about now The Bible says When the trumpet of the ants when it sounds those dead in Christ they will be the first one to rise and us who still be alive but those who are dead and us who are alive the Bible says that we will be raised in the skies we will meet with Jesus in the skies and then we will have 
have glory forever. Now, like this thing is something I want you to get in your thoughts. You know, looking like Jesus. It's a long term project. It's a long time project. Now, now let me talk about Peter. I've started talking about him The first thing on the life of Peter that I have learned is that this thing is a journey. That journey I showed you. That I showed you. The Bible says that when Jesus found Peter in the boat, he told him, follow me and I will make you a fisher of men. But when you read in Matthew uh, chapter 16, because that's why Peter left the boat and he followed him. We see Peter again. When Jesus was asking his disciples who the people say I am. Peter said you are the Christ, the son of the living God. And Jesus said I will build my church on this rock and the gates of hell shall not prevail against now, it. Now let me try to show you Peter. Because I want you to teach you the life of Peter. The first thing, this is Peter encountering Jesus. And you knew that he's a sinner. And Jesus told him, don't worry. Don't worry about that. Just follow me. I will make you. Now, I like the English word, I will make. These things of salvation, Jesus make you something Yes, it's a making process. Come to me and I will give you a testimony. You might fast and you pray and you ask God and God speaks or he doesn't even speak and he says God. You know, these things it's like a factory. Jesus told him fix a problem. Uh, 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 the people who speak English, they like that word to fix uh, a problem. Uh, uh, fix Say, I'm going to fix this problem. Yes, I will fix you. Jesus said, I use that word, I will fix you. I will make you. He said, I will make you. In other words, you don't know what I will take you through and you don't know what will happen to you, but I, I have known you when you are still in your mother's womb even before you were born and I have chosen you to be a prophet that is Jeremiah but now for Peter he left Everything. And he followed Jesus. Now listen to what I loved with Peter. These people didn't ask Jesus how long it was going to take. And when Jesus, uh, Peter asked Jesus what was going to be his reward, it was later on. You know, these things of God now, just take your logic out of it, just take your plans out of it. It's not a formula that will, that's the problem people have. These are the things you get yourself into and you decide to be a disciple. And you say, here I am. Whether it takes 50 years, whether it takes 30 years, no, without lying to you, my testimony, that's how I got saved. I came into these things I just lose myself. Nah, I, plan I had no plan. Even though I was born in a pastor's family. I knew that I'm a sinner. And I knew that Jesus died on the cross for my sins. And I found that I need him more than he needs me. Peter, now Peter. He got him the eyes beyond the it fish. seems like a this man. He had something special. Is that thing you say the motivation, something that is on your heart? Now listen. On uh, chapter 16 of Matthew, Matthew chapter 16, from verse 21 to 22, uh, from verse 21 to 22, uh, the chapter 16 I read, 
He said, you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church. Jesus was talking about, he was talking about Christ. Also, on the other Peter hand, when Peter came out of that power of witnessing, we see Peter rebuking the idea or the thought of Jesus dying. He told Jesus, that should never happen to you. He said, that should never come close to you. So I tell you the truth, my friends. When you look at the life of Peter, listen to this carefully. It's not the life of victory every day, every day, every day. No. Beloved friends, it's a lie they have told you that you have permanent victory. They have lied to you. Here is Peter saying that Jesus is the son of God. And this is Peter rebuking Jesus saying you should never die on the cross. One day Peter called Jesus a ghost. When Jesus was walking on the sea, I see someone looking like a ghost. It's like a ghost. That's my. It's like Peter. Jesus I found you on the sea and I called you. I said, Come and follow me. And you follow me. a small. A few minutes you just change and you're calling me a ghost. You know why Jesus was not discouraged by what Peter said? It's because Jesus knew well that he's molding him into something. Listen to the secret of looking at like Jesus. Never, never be discouraged in this journey. That's why the Bible says even though I fall I will still run I will still stand. And there is another scripture that says, Oh, you, my enemy, don't boss over me. Because even if I fall, the Bible says, much uh, hardship comes to the righteous. But what the problem is with the Christians, you know, there are those who keep uh, mingling with sin, saying the blood of Jesus is there. But the power of our victory it comes from the decision you have taken in your heart all the life of Peter from beginning to end Jesus was looking at his heart and he knew that he was committed to follow him beloved friends Christians I encourage you in the name of Jesus you know uh, one thing that Peter did that Jesus will have said I'm disappointed you know meeting a believer and then he takes your money and doesn't pay you say I'm disappointed I didn't know all these years you were a thief the Bible says that Jesus before he died on the cross when he was caught Peter denied him how many times Three times he denied him. You know how many years they had worked together? Uh, for those who study the Bible, I think it was almost three years. And in those three years, he did. When he was walking with Peter, speaking with Peter, him doing miracles, Peter uh, witnessing about him, to the point Jesus tells him, walk on the sea, Peter had not yet reached for because he denied him three times. But I don't know if you remember that. You know, before Peter denied Jesus yes, three times, Jesus had told him, I have prayed for you. Now, Christians who are here, yourself, you know it's not enough for you to you know like that Jesus. Jesus prayed for you? Do you know that Jesus prayed for you? The Bible says in Revelation chapter 17, uh, in John chapter 17, Jesus prayed for the church. He prayed for the church. He prayed for his disciples. 
those and he prayed for those who were to believe from what they will hear from his disciples that's why the gates of hell it doesn't shake the church do you know our strength our power we are the answers of the prayers of Jesus so if you are saved and you are determined to look like Jesus, beloved friend, my friend, you should always keep in mind that in this journey of looking like Jesus, Jesus has prayed for the church. Jesus told Peter, He told him, I have prayed for you. Peter denied him three times. So, something I would like to emphasize on the likeness with Jesus, following Jesus. The first thing is that it's a journey. The second thing is that it's determination. You need to be determined. I said that earlier. In Luke chapter 5 from verse 9. And it's the same we read in Matthew. The Bible said that they left everything and they followed him. In one version in English they say. They simply walked away and they left everything they had without a second thought. The first thing is a journey. The second thing is determination. The first thing, the first thing to be, be a learner. Is to be a learner. In the process of transformation, this thing of being a learner is something very important. I want to read all the scriptures. But I have learned that in the process the process that Jesus uses to make you look like him, there is being, being taught learning, being taught there is being taught now for you to look like Jesus you need to be taught you need to be taught this word it didn't just happen no it was there so that it might change your mindset Listen to what I have learned when it comes to repentance. You know, repentance is not just leaving away It is turning away from the thought that causes you to sin. There are some people who stop sinning. But the mindset that causes them to sin has not been transformed. Now, the word of God, it changes your mindset. Your you might stop drinking because you are afraid of liver cancer. You know, you might stop fornication because you are afraid of being caught one day. But the true repentance, but the true repentance is to change your mindset. I see some people. You know, because of the work I do, God has blessed me. I travel so much to the point that because you're my friends, I can tell you I've gone to more than uh, to 41 countries, not to the airports, to the countries. Because of the work I do, I have slept in Marriott, New York, in different hotels. Sometimes I sleep. He was that. And I ask myself, is it what causes the preachers to fall? Because of this room I'm in, should I just let a woman that I don't come in in? just because I'm alone? Now, the more I thought about those things, I have realized the power of sin. The power to be freed from sin is not uh, the lack of opportunity to do those things. 
Rather, it is the transformation of the mindset. Now, when the opportunities to sin present themselves, they will find that your mind. It's like I have sent my mind. It's like uh, uh, na, na, na yeah, yeah, and that's why Job said, I have made the covenant with my eyes that I will never last after a woman. But, but Christo, Beloved Christian, Jesus told Peter, follow me, follow me I will make you. I will make you. you. I will make you. You will never be transformed or made if the word of God doesn't transform you. Because our lives we eat like we think we dress like we think we walk like we think you know all your life is all about your mind and your thoughts. I have my friends we have lived together when we go to a place we go to eat and they bring sweet potatoes they will say I want to eat sweet potatoes so I used to ask people, why don't you eat sweet potatoes? Say, I have had too much potatoes from birth. Now, try to observe the young people who are here. You know, your wardrobe will just change because of one word you've been told. If someone tells you that your legs are not nice, immediately you change your clothes. And when someone tells you you have nice legs, immediately you change your wardrobe. Someone will be promoted from 300 to 3 million. And they change the restaurant they used now, to go to. The restaurant that was causing you trouble. Well, you in Magambo, other words, your life is all about your thoughts. Now, now being a disciple, that's what, that's, mean. that's what it means. It's allowing this word to transform your mind whether people put on many dresses, whether they don't, whether you go to 45 countries, whether you live in Gatata, it doesn't change you. It, it shows our lifestyle. Now, this is the power of our lives. And that's why people, Jesus told Peter, he said, I will make you. He didn't tell him tomorrow morning you will be a fish Beloved friends, Christians, if you want to be a good husband, follow Jesus. Follow him. Follow Jesus. He knows how we make you a businessman. Do you know another question I see? Christians? People follow Jesus. And then they choose how he will do that. If God made me choose, Kunda wouldn't have If God gave me a choice, yeah. I will tell him, oh, yeah. no. When and what? Tell, take me instead. <laughs> For you men who say that, I'm not sure if he came, so, you are saved. You want to know what God will use. But the secret, the first, is believing that the one who calls he, you he knows lie. what he's doing in your life. As the second point is that we know well that at the end of all these things, there is eternity. Eternity. You know, this things of salvation. You know, it has become things of fear on earth. And that's why many preachers don't preach about the coming of Jesus. We want to entertain people just around here. We keep telling you you want to fall sick and they will fall sick yet. And we tell them if you fast you die and they will fast and they will die. People who have prophesied to you, you know they what? Won't come to your place. Do you know we have changed what the Bible says. In this world, there are tribulations and sufferings and there are joys. But all together, it has an end. 
destiny. Had destiny to yes, no Peter, Jesus didn't call Peter only to make him a fish of men. Now go Caracas. Now get a job it, advertisement. It, it wasn't a job advertisement. Oh, yeah. No. Yes, we Jesus was looking at that one day. Gumusu Pentecost. The day of the Pentecost. Peter when Peter was full of the Holy Spirit. When he entered through that beautiful gate. He saw someone who was crippled from birth. He looked at him. He looked at him. He looked at him. Jesus wasn't there anymore. Jesus had left back to him, but he was there through the Holy Spirit. The same Peter. So that same Peter. Why? What do we have? Yes. The one who denied Jesus. Why do we say yes? Umu 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 zimu. The one who called Jesus. Umu sumwa mazakuzi baraka zimu kawe. The one who was full with the power of the Holy Spirit. He looked at that crippled man. And he says, "Silver or gold, I do not have. I do not fit. But what we do have, we'll give." It to you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise and walk. Beloved, this is what Jesus was talking about. That one day, after Jesus was full of the Holy Spirit, he stood in front of the Pharisees and the scribes and lawyers and people who were full of Jerusalem. This is the word he said. He said, That Jesus you killed. You know, he denied him while he was still alive. Now, look at the power he was full of. He said, that Jesus that you killed is the one who is doing these things you see. But Beloved friends, listen to, uh, remember when Jesus met Peter in the boat? Peter, he would have never thought that one day he would a crippled man on that beautiful gate. But Jesus Jesus was looking at the life of Peter and he would look at him in his the future purpose. But he will look at the future purpose. He will look at what it will take. I think probably he told him, if, uh, he thought if I told him he's going to live. But because he's the Lord of Lords, because he knows everything, he will look at the life of Peter. I will know that something will come out of Peter. The fourth thing before I end, in the life of Peter, and I have learned this is four words in English. He started being a follower and then he became a disciple and then later on he became an apostle. Don't think it's like ranks because Christians you love ranks. You know these days people, uh, Christians love the ranks and positions. I'll come from the deacon being a deacon and then I'll become an elder and then from an elder Evangelist. When am I going to become an evangelist? When will the pastor remember me? Pastor. So that I can be a pastor too. Pastor. And when I become a pastor, you know the structures of this world, that is what is affecting but us. Christo. Beloved Christians, a heart that works in the deacon is the same heart that works in the apostle. Now, it's not about ranks. Now, a follower, a disciple, and apostle. Not follower, disciple, and apostle as ranks. But if you look at it from the Bible's perspective, these people, Peter, they started being disciples of Jesus. We saw them being called apostles. We saw them working as apostles. So these three words make it into one word. That's the plan that God has into his life. God has a plan for your life. You will never know that plan. You know, your life is like a puzzle. You know that puzzle game? They will bring one piece of the puzzle and they will add another one and they will add another piece of puzzle and they add another piece of puzzle and then one image will emerge from all those puzzles being together. My friend, never give up. Don't give up. Never be discouraged, never give up. God is still bringing the pieces of the puzzle together. As pastor, she was in Rumba. I don't know if she was in Rumba. I don't know.
Muzamwoze irubumbashi kwa rigutekereza ibingibi. Ask if you know have thought about this. Nibi rero ni yari yagerwa. Even this is not yet the end. Nubwo nako byari byagera hano. It's not yet it has to reach to the culmination. Imitekereza yacu. But our thoughts. Uravuga ngo wamba ngibyo pastor rafite. I wish I can get to pastor this level and then the rest let go. Oya. No. Oya. No. Ubuzima bwawe. Your life. It's like a puzzle. It's like a puzzle. Imana iracyatera nyutu. That is still bringing pieces of the puzzle and the final image is not yet out do you know how Peter ended his life it is not written in the Bible but the theologians they say that before he died because of his suffering he was in pain and he was in pain they say that before he died because of the determination he had gotten to he said don't crucify me this way just like Christ was crucified just turn the cross outside down they say that Peter died but he was buried upside down read that if it's not that you know whatever is not true in the Bible is history but what does that mean this is the man who stood up not knowing how it was going to end but he went through so many things that I didn't expect and he ended I don't even deserve to die like my king now let me end with this you know these stories of following Jesus is, there is no guarantee that all of you will die in King Faisal I tell you the truth some of us we might be burnt in churches because we don't want to deny Christ what I want to tell you is this it doesn't give you a guarantee you will die in King Faisal and they bring that and then that has blue lights and all the kids who have gone to and who have paid all the debts that's what we want all of us but the Peters Peter they will look beyond the things of this world and they will look far and the reward that they will be given a radical transformation in your life we come it will come after you have understood where you're going we are not in the business of serving God so that you might be comfortable yes we will be comfortable but what transforms us is that we know very well that there is a reward there is a cloud of witnesses that I spoken in Hebrews chapter 2 these are the people who have lived in this world and the Bible says that the world looked at them and saw that it didn't deserve to have them so that cloud of witnesses that is the hope of the believers you know when you're talking that from the mind perspective you can't deny what you believe in and tomorrow we see you why you used to be a servant of God and you say I'm going to divorce but Christ beloved you know these things that come the human rights you know the relativism oh, yeah. the, the truth has to think about it. It. I'm saying this from the pulpit oh, in church the truth is not what you oh, think, oh, you oh, think. Oh, the truth is the truth of God it's not about how you think it's about how God designed oh, this life otherwise tomorrow you might say you know of I can course. have three wives just like Nicole my uncle. Teresa. That's what you think. But it's not the truth of God. Now Christian is not living as you think. Let me end with this story. So that the youth might go home with fire. You remember that day when Saul fought with Goliath? Fought with the Goliath? Do you remember who? 
Do you know it was David? Do you know how the story unfolded? There are some preachers who like to say that five songs, five gospels, I don't know about but that. But let me tell you my point here. The Bible said that when David came on the battle, Saul was the one high in ranks. And David was just a young man. But this young man, he had God in him. David, this David we are talking about, he was full of God in himself. Young people went to the camp. I pray that the spirit of David fighting David Goliath, David came, he looked at Goliath and he looked at Saul. You know there had been for many days in that, 40 days in that life. Goliath morning and he will start God and Israel. A young man who had just got himself like you. Who doesn't know all those stories of the year? You know some of you I got saved before you were born. You know those years that you've been there. No it doesn't matter with God. Just follow Jesus. I remember the first day I preached this my mother who gave me that opportunity. You know, I gave you the David Now, David, Abgira, came, Abgira Saul. he told Saul, Abgira, he he said, said, let me use, let me phrase it my way. Go, he told give him, me a chance. Just give me a chance. Young people who are here, just go and tell the pastor, give me a chance. I know the God that I've believed in. And I know the despite how Goliath Now when David was talking to Saul, give me this chance. Saul, so he didn't get it right. He said, you a young man. That man his experience. But David could see that Goliath is experienced. He was not dreaming about that. But listen to the word of prophecy. David kept on insisting. He said, just give me one chance. Friends, members of Omega Church. If you don't have the zeal of God, you know that sometimes you pray and you tell God, give me because of the young orphans just give me one chance and God when he looks at your heart he said this person now look at what's amazing so he tried he tried, and, tried. and then he told them he didn't get it right he said let them give you the full armor when David put on that armor it was very heavy on him he said, me, just give me a, a chance. It's not about the experience. It's not even about so many stuff. Just give me a chance. I know this God of mine. Now listen to what is. This is the leader we want. Even though you talk about Saul in the he was a leader, aspect, but he was a leader. Who knows, knows how to promote the young generation? Who knows how to promote the young generation? I don't know whatever convinced him. Risk. You know, he took a risk. Okay. He said, okay. Go. Now, the leaders who are here, the leaders of the church, think about that. that. If, I, if I was it's teaching leadership, I would have developed that. Risk. It was a high risk. A young man, a very young man, because Goliath had said that, choose one person, if I defeat him, all of you, I will take you as this. Now, this is the leader who is not afraid of risk. He said, now go. Imagine, imagine try to imagine, Saul, Saul the Israelites, Goliath, looking at a young man. Try to think about the heart of Saul. I won't go into prophecy. But this is what we are praying for. God is giving a chance to the young people.
Don't abuse it. Don't abuse it. I saw that in my life. I know people will tell them, give me a chance. God used them. And they gave me that chance. That's where I'm ending. Let us pray in the name of Jesus. Let me ask the worship team to come up in front. And everyone is going to think about this word. You know, likeness with Jesus is not a one day thing. Try to think about Peter. Followership. The first thing is a journey. The first thing is a journey. Man of God, the women of God in this world, there will be winds and rain will fall. Don't enjoy being in a church where they tell you that you never have problems. They are lying to you. They are lying to you. Don't follow people who tell you you never have problems. Problems will come. Do you have more faith than Peter's and the like? You know there is one day that Paul said no one has ever been beaten as much as I have uh -huh. Christians. It's a journey that has hope the hope of here in this world and the hope to come of the life to come. Second point, it's a journey that requires determination. Peter and the others, they left everything without asking. They didn't ask what their reward would be. He asked about that later on. It's a journey that asks you to be a learner, to accept, to be taught. It's not just coming for the discipleship and living is the transformation of the mindset. Have you changed what caused you to sin or you have stopped sinning? The reason why you're not sinning is it because you're short of opportunities or you have opportunities but you know who you are? This is a journey into likeness, into transformation. And I ended with David. God wants the young people who can say, give me a chance. Give me a chance in this camp. People, the people who are working here. Are uh, you businessmen who are here? Are you businessmen who are here? You know, people will still, they give bribes. God wants someone he can give an opportunity and he won't find any. Pray like David. Say, oh God, give me a chance in this company. Because this is too much. This is too much. Give me a chance in this leadership I'm in. So that I can be a blessing to those who are suffering. Give me a chance in the leadership of the church. So that I might change the world's mindset when it comes to the things of God. That is what happened to David. He asked God for a chance. And he told Saul, Say, just give me a chance. It's not about the child. It's not about those things that armor you're giving. It's a zeal because of the, 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 the uh, how Goliath has been despising us. If there is a family, I applaud. It's Pastor Tai and Mama Tai. These people do business, I know them and you know no, them. I didn't come to praise them. But they, they can live without this church. If, if their people have been observing about the reason that caused them to serve God and I saw genuineness in them. You know the opportunity I'm talking about, the chance is not for you to get rich quickly. Oh yeah. No. Oh yeah. No. Oh yeah. No. What is it that is paining you? 
what is the things here? you look at and you say oh god give me a chance because this is too much if you're here and you want to give your life to jesus and you say lord jesus i have known this i want to start like peter just raise your hand if you're here and you say uh, among the many words you have said but for me i want to invite jesus in the boat of my heart he has transformed peter from meeting him and that's what you think first before you align your life you first need to have a relationship with god if you're here and you need me to pray for you just raise your hand and say i'm here and i want to take this decision today i want to follow jesus i've lived in this religion for so many years but today today is my day today is my day i was born in a family of seven pastors you would all know my testimony my father was a blessing to me but he has never transformed my life he told me so many good words he has been an example to me but he couldn't change my heart so now if you're here and you want Jesus to transform your heart I'll give you this opportunity just raise your hand and I'll pray for you God bless you God bless you yes sing just raise your hand young people who are here this life you know I've been in Cadillac I have danced in cool families you know I have studied in Akokopa and I was I wasn't born saved as Pascaline who were in the same school before I got saved she's a witness she knows me before I got saved and she knows me after I got saved raise your hand God bless you for you who have raised your hands please come in front come in front I want to pray for you come in front you who have raised your hands please come in front there is a good carpet here we come here in front. Don't look at your age and don't look at your life. Come and receive Jesus. Come and meet with Jesus. I'm not telling you come to the born again. No. No. Just one more minute if you come and pray for you. Come and Jesus will forgive your sins. Come and Jesus will transform your life. You know Jesus can forgive any sin. And you know there is no life he can fail to transform. You have tried drugs. You have tried books. And you have tried so many principles and nothing can transform your life. Manu these are people who do great declarations God bless you you who are here you who are here as the pastors are praying for you repeat this prayer after me you must 
nize ya maraso wamenye ku musaraba kubera ibyaha byanjye muri uyu munsi Yesu ndakijijwe ndakwizeye ngwino muri njewe umbere umwami umbere umukiza uru rugendo ntangiye ndagushime kuzarunshoboza kugwa ubuntu bwawe satan ngusezeyeho ndihanye mbaye umwana w'Imana aba pastor bajye gumya basengera none ubwira Imana icyo cyakuzanye hano eh ubwira Imana uti mwami yewe ndinyabya nene yagakiza that you need salvation and Jesus is going to do it aba pastor mugunye mu basengere pastors keep praying for them aba Kristo mwese muhaguruke nsengere no sengesho mwese aba Kristo muhaguruke all of you church please stand umuntu wese urahangaha anyone who is here ushaka ko musengera who wants to be prayed for kugira ngo ufate icyemezo so that you might take a decision to be a follower Wandemye unzi Wandemye unzi Wandemye munde ya mama unzi neze Wameye komvuka Wameye gakiza Uyu munsi Yesu ndabisobanukiwe Nukumara maza Nukwiyemeza Nuguharanira gusa naho Nukugira ibyiringiro byahazaza Bidutera guhinduka mu gihe cyanone Uyu munsi Yesu hindura imitekereze yanje uko njya mbona ibintu hindura imitekereze yanje ndashaka kugira imitekereze ya Kristo mu buzima mbambo mu bintu nyuramo mu bintu ncamo mwizina rya Yesu kinzi miryango yose ya Satan ibinyoma byose bya Satan ku mibereho ya buno buzima ndayikinza mu izina rya Yesu ibitekerezo bya satan bimvemo mu izina rya Yesu ndamaramaje mwami maramaje kugukurikira mu izina rya Yesu mu izina rya Yesu mwese muzamwe ibiganza byanyu imbere y'Imana mwese muzamwe ibiganza byanyu kamba sengere mana data mu izina rya Yesu ndasengere iri toro rya omega mwami mu izina rya Yesu Iki kintu kitwa gusana Kristo mwami reka kibimpinduka mu bitekerezo byabo mana ntaga ari project y'umunsi umwe ntaga ari ibintu byafata icyumweru nta seminari yakwigisha umwana umuntu gusana Kristo mwami ndagushimye uko wadusengeye wasengeye itorero mwami turi umusaro w'amasengesho reka abana bawe mwami niba rebe ibintu ukora mu buzima bwabo bagire ibyiringiro mana yuko byose bikorwa ko byasengewe mana yaba ari ibibi yaba ari byiza tunyura mu mana mwizina rya Yesu uturinda gutakaza byiringiro reka tugire byiringiro by'ubugingo buhoraho reka tugire byiringiro byo kurabagirana kwawe mwami mwizina rya Yesu urakoze mwami kubwo uyu munsi urakoze bwo rubyiruko mana ndasenga mwizina rya Yesu iri sengesho Dawidi yasenze abwira Sauli aramubwira ati mama hirwe gusa mama hirwe nyemerera Goliath na muci gihanga mana wama ba Kristo batekereza gutya ba Kristo reka pastor abasengere Murabizi for you Iki gihugu cyakira You know this country can be healed Dufite abantu bameze nka David If you have people like David Yes ashimwe Praise be to Jesus Abari bapfukamye babe bahagaze Those who are kneeling you can be standing Baba tegurie sister Harriet naringe kumuhamagara n'ubundi As you still standing, friends of God, have you heard the word that he ended up with? It's his sadness. Say, I wish there can be Christians who say, Give me a chance, O oh God. I'm going to tell you this. In the morning, the prayers that we do, the prayer that was on our heart it say this the word of god says call upon me 
je te donnerai les nations pour héritage. And I will give you the nations as an inheritance. Call upon me. And I will give you the nations and an inheritance. If God can tell you, call upon me and I will give you the nations. This is a promise that says. God. Ngushimiyijambo Kwizongizo, umwanza kamushuka, ngwizongizo nicho chiva zafiti. Sicho chiva zo afiti. Ngizi na rija yesu, icho chijiri wani. Ata luku jishuvite, wa jisuvizu ta jisuviza. Icho jisho mufashe kumenya kwa tercho chiva zo. Mwami wanje mana ya nanji. Ichiva zo ni igihe, ichiva zo numutima, ichiva zo numunanyi. Tukuza ni imitima yachu. Rebe imitima yachu. Mwami wanji. Rungu rukuni mwijuru. Urebe muriwe seguri ya takwereka. Gori ya taboni mbereji. Mga mimana isho wara bjosa. Iyare mnijurunis. Iyamke mjitono. Mwa envoke mwa. Joto donere le nation kwa eritaj. Uri muzima uri kuhu. Mnisi na dia yesu. Iwa gori ya ati. Uwa mamijangu. Uwa mshako. Uwa mnitoro. Uwa mji hugu. Uwa mamahanga. Uwa mwri yesi. Isi yogo jabanu. Wagori ya ticho chino, buri wewe sarib, ukareba na u, ukamurebo, kavu kutaranya mireji, turago sababu mizi na rjais, ururuk. Wara vuzengo zavi mana ya chuo, tu zavu wangu na wakubwa wao, uzajeni muri tuki. Munga mi wanje mana ya nchi, kandi wara vuzengo mubi hebza nyum, harimba rago zasuk, kuba wangu na wakubwa, kuba saz, buri rojingu, munga mi, ushawara kurusuka huimba rago zungu kwa. Turabi zinaz, na bado dukoresh kwa nubu gengine bgaash, ni dukoresh kwa nimbara kazi mubiri, ni dukoresh kwa nubu hanga bga mashur, na nuko dukoresh kwa nama frang, na nuko dukoresh kwa nava dukomera mash, dukoresh kwa nuko kwa wui, dukoresh kwa nimbara kaza, suku nuko kwa wui wera, suku nimbara kaza, kumuno esuru kwa invoka, umuno esuru guhamagara, musuke wui nimbara kaza nuko kwa wui wera, kujenga baashi gukora mwezi na rjais, ushimwe kuzumba, ushimwe kubidukorera. Ushimwe kwa mahanga hindu kichuwa hilo chao. Mwizi na rija isu. Mga mireka dusabu mujisha kumugaragu wawo. Mga mimani shobara bjose. Tugushimi ibzo njibzu kozi. Tugushimi ya bachishishu. Tugushimi imbu tonzizu temu huzimabu gachu. Tukuza nye kuizeru. Nuri ya murijango os. Umuha imbaraga kuru yisi. Utumia funksiona. Utumia riho. Mga mitutire nga jijini imbaraga zumu kazi wari mo. Mwoka wawo wera. Mga mimani shobara bjose. Kuizera fita masingi shuyu muti maui. Kuizera fiti bza vuga na naui. Afite mwa mbi bza vuga na naui bifiti shingiro. Afite mwa mbi bza vuga na naui bitari bza none. Afite bza vuga na naui bili bza sho. Afite bza vuga na naui bikuiriye. Ari kujambo ya wiramgi rangu wawe uzibiche neui. Mwisi na rija ya sunda musabi rangu ijiche neui wau wana ubu ubu. Umusubiz. 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 Kujira nguzi na rijauri kumeze li kuzgue mwuzi mabuki. No mwubi. Mwami imani shobara bjosu. Ahaka mili nsawira kuizero. Mwubzo mutuma. Mwuba hura nabu. Mwumuli makor. Mwami wamu jizishkwe. Wamu jizibire njebi kujender. Kwa mezu mngagure. Kwa mezu muhishurire. Kwa mezu muhe umonsi kumonsi. Ibza korabi guheshi chowairu. Ndagushima uri ya mwuri mavuga. Atubgiye. No mwuri mwumaze kukora mwuri hui. Nibzu kwa ze mwuri hui. Nga mi ndagushimu. Kandi mani jichiranuka. Ndagushimu. Nga kukomeze kumujirira nezu. Nga mi komeza. Njinji zumote mawu. Ye kujirubgo. Ye kukukumutimu. Ye kuibgira ko. Nga mi wanje ko. Ijecho sukora. Ushobara kunye ganyeza chani. Nga mi ukora hombi. Ujunye ganyeza. Ari kujukura nibzi zabitangash. Ujutungu zibzi zabitangash. Murujendo nabiju kaburakozi. Ibzo bimo jereho. 
mu izina rya Yesu Kristo ndagushima mwami mani kiranu ku muryango asiga inyuma ya gi Nairobi tukize mu biganza bya web zero reka abana bakure bashimwa nawe bashimwa nabantu bagwiza imbaraga z'ubwenge n'izumubiri n'izumwoka kubwa icyubahiro kizina ryawe ndasengera koko ndasengera bana bamaze guca kenje bamaze gukura ngo bayobore nabo mu mihamagaro y'ubuzima bwa kuko mwami imana ishobora byose imihamagaro kubihari yo irahari icyo bahiro ni kuzo bikomeze bibi byawe du umugisha uyu munsi du umunezero watugene duhe mwami gushyira ku mutima ibyo ushaka buri wese atahana ashize ku mutima kubwa icyo bahiro kizina ryawe ryera vuga ngo amen ukaweranda kunyotewe wiruganze muri nje unyigishe Kawe